This is a short video to introduce the Tekka Calibrator 1000i ACDC. This is a resistive load bank with built in meters, various switches. Uh, this, on this model, you've got eight switches starting at uh, 20 amps right through to 245 amps. As you bring these switches in, you increase the load from the resistive bank. You can have as many on as you want, or one or two, or you can add switches, you can take them off. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. We've got the on off switch here, DC, AC. You can validate and calibrate TIG machines, stick welding machines, MIG machines, MAG machines, CCCV, welding power, uh, engine driven welding power sources, any type of welding machine. Portability of this is superb. We've also got casters underneath to make it very portable. I'm now going to demonstrate how easy it is to use. Noting your polarity, you connect the load bank up. Switch it on, and you can see instantly we've got a voltage display here, which is what this power source is putting out. This is a 1000 amp power source that we've got, we've got on test today. So we've got potential of putting out up to 1000 amps from this. We've got a 1000 amp calibrator, which will take up to 1000 amps or even as much as 1100 amps peak. What we can do now, we can add some load, add a bit more load. See the amperage changing. 500 amps at 53 volts. It is set for constant current at the moment, this power source. So that means as we add more load now, the amps will remain pretty stable and the voltage will just continue to fall. You see that? The amps are still 515 amps. You can see the voltage. So you can very easily validate the display on this machine here. You see it's fairly accurate, we've got 515 amps on there, 508 on there, so there's only a small error. Also the voltage is again quite accurate, maybe reading a little bit higher on the power source than the, than the calibrator suggested. Very used to take the loads on and off, you can see again we've gone down to zero load now. We want to add a little bit of fine control. You see the amps at 500 as we start adding this. You see the voltage dropping again to a maximum of about 20 amps on that. So now we're going to demonstrate this unit, taking this unit up. Nine hundred amps from the power source. The nine hundred and fifteen amps, nine hundred and fourteen amps on the load. The voltage is reading a little bit low on the calibrator. The meters on the power source are quite accurate, so there's not a lot of um, difference between the two. Very simple to set up and use. You can also connect. As I mentioned earlier, any power source to this, including an AC-DC TIG machine or DC TIG machines, you can even connect it with a HF running, there will be no damage to this unit whatsoever. There's no power supply needed for this, because it takes its power from the actual welding circuit and it's got its own internal battery to uh, display the meters. And that's it, pretty much.